Mike Lindell, like many Trump loyalists, is having a difficult time accepting the fact that Donald Trump did in fact lose the general election. And so he keeps spreading this lie about Trump getting reinstated in order to cope. Unfortunately, it's time to take a trip to the copium den. The, the, pull, the, the pull book is completely off. Who was it called by? Oh my goodness, all the networks. Dumps, they call them dumps, big massive dumps. That might have been funny, but unfortunately, this is a dark place, which is why we're covering this story. So speaking to Brandon House on a conservative platform known as WVW, Lindell claimed that there's a very specific date where Donald Trump will be reinstated as president. And this will be the talk of the world. Let's watch. By the time August 3rd, the morning of August 13th, it'll be the talk of the world going, hurry up. Let's get this election pulled down. Let's right the right. Let's get these communists out of, you know, that had taken over. That the, And you'll see, when I say that, you know, um, and they'll say, well, what's going to happen to all the people that were involved? I don't know. Right now, the biggest concern is getting this election pulled down. Donald Trump won. I mean, it's, it's pretty simple. They call them dumps, big dumps. Uh, so that's Mike Lindell, who by the way, he's made similar points in the past, but he hadn't really committed to a specific date. In this case, he says August 13th, Donald Trump's gonna be reinstated. Obviously, I'm paraphrasing. You guys can roll back the video and watch specifically what he said. Um, but he's made similar claims before. Here's one from March where he regurgitated similar talking points. Let's watch. What I'm talking about, Steve, is what I have been doing since January 9th. All the evidence I have, everything is going to go before the Supreme Court and the election of 2020 is going bye bye. I, it was an attack by other country, communism coming in. I don't know what they're going to do with what after they pull it down, but it's. How, how, but hang, hang, on, on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hold on. Hang, Donald hang, Trump will go, be go back ahead. in office in August. All right, so uh, look, again, on the surface, this is, it seems funny, right? But when you really look at, it, look at it in context, especially in the context of the violence that we've already seen from Trump's base in the nation's capital, in various protests across the country, in the way that they respond to polls regarding their affinity for violence, there is some cause for concern. Because again, they've now slapped a specific date on something that's not gonna happen because Trump did not win the election and he's not gonna be reinstated. Well, there's two reasons why it's not gonna happen. Um, so one is the massive dumps. <laughs> so that's the, the Trump quote that we put in the intro, right, for this. And, and it's referring to how they had this theory that there was going, there was massive dumps of ballots and they were gonna prove it in court and then the election was gonna get overturned. This is before the inauguration, right? And they went to court, as we've told you many times, Trump and his allies went to court 60 times. They went 0 and 60 because they didn't actually have the evidence. Rudy would go into court and he didn't wanna get disbarred. And the judge would ask him, oftentimes Trump appointed judges. So, okay, Mr. Giuliani, where's your evidence? He said, "Oh no, I don't have one, we're not even charging fraud. He said, in court, we're not even charging fraud, okay? so. It's all lies, it's all 100% lies. It was proven to be lies in open court with conservative judges, Trump appointed judges. So, but these folks live in an alternate reality. No, they're like, guys, you're not, like the, I don't think anybody's getting how dangerous it is that there are tens of millions of people in this country who are detached from reality. So. So there, there was no evidence, there's never been any evidence. They had ample uh, opportunity. In fact, Mike Lindell, I think, is still in courts. And, and he still claims he's gonna bring out evidence. And remember, they were gonna release the Kraken. The Kraken didn't exist, the, uh, the pillows don't exist. Well, the pillows actually are the one things that do exist. Anyway, the dumps don't exist, none of it exists, right? But the other thing is, there is nothing in the Constitution that says that after a president is sworn in, that you could redo the election or take the guy who lost and put him in. There is, there's no process for it, it's not a thing, it's not a thing. It's right. not in the Constitution. Right, because we live right. in, a, in a democracy. Yeah, we, li we have laws <laughs> in this country. Somewhat of a country. democracy, yeah. Yeah, we have a government, we have process, etc. It's like saying, oh no, no, everybody knows that if it's not Trump in August, then it's gonna be Bob in September. How would it be Bob? 
I don't know, would you can put Bob in? Okay, no, your only option is violence. That's your only option because there is no legal option to put Bob or Trump in. There is no, there's like literally, you can't go to a court. There's no, like the election is over, there's nothing, right? But they're detached from reality. Guys, you, you know, it's easy to make fun of Mike Lindell because he's an obvious, like, mentally unwell person. He's, I mean, you colloquially call him a lunatic. He is, he's 100% detached from reality. And so, but for us in the sane world, we think, ah, that's amazing, right? Now look at this one guy who is so outrageous. Remember, the overwhelming majority of Republicans to this day think Donald Trump actually did win and that Joe Biden never won. The majority of Republicans, a significant majority of Republicans, let alone the 28% of Republicans who say it might be time for violence. So when Mike Lindell says this is the day, there's a lot of people in this country who are getting ready. They genuinely believe that, tens of millions of people that are thinking, "Oh, that's it, Trump's coming back in August. And so what are they gonna do then? I don't know, but when you have that many people unhinged and totally detached from reality, you're, it is a recipe for massive disaster. Let's hope to God none of it happens and they just you know, dream about Trump in their basement and have fun with it, right? But if they get out in the real world and start doing violence, this thing's gonna devolve quickly. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.